In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the unmask feature within the vocal assistant in Nectar 3. So what you can do is you can click on vocal assistant, choose the unmask feature, and what this will do is it will carve out a space for the vocal by comparing it to another audio track, and it will correct the frequency masking on that track. So in particular with this song, there's a lot of real heavy, thick uh, rhythm guitars that are keeping the vocal from coming through. Now also keep in mind that we haven't mixed the vocal at all here. This is just a raw vocal track. So we'll also use the vocal assistant assist to mix the vocal as well. And Nectar 3 makes this really, really easy and really quick. So let's give this a listen as is. Yeah, the vocal is buried. So if I go to vocal assistant and go down to unmask here, you'll see that it says no source is found. So if I hover over this little I button here, it says add a Nectar 3 relay or other compatible isotope plug into a track. We're gonna use relay and this comes with Nectar 3. So what you do is you put the relay plugin on the track that's clashing with the vocals. That you, this is gonna be the track where you want to carve out that space for the vocals. So I'm gonna choose my rhythm guitars uh, track stack here. Basically, what I have is I have both my left and right rhythm guitars uh, bust over to this track stack, much like you do with an auxiliary track to create a bus group or a mix bus of multiple tracks like you do in other DAWs. Logic just has this really uh, nifty feature of creating track stacks. So what I'll do is I'm going to add the relay plugin to this rhythm guitars uh, track stack. Now with Relay Up, I'm gonna go over to the Vocal Assistant again, and I'm gonna choose Unmask, and I can click Next, and then you can choose your Unmask Source. So I'll click here, and it says Rhythm Guitars Relay. So this is the only source that I have Relay on. Now one really cool thing about using Nectar 3's Vocal Assistant is that you can use the Assist feature along with the Unmask feature. So if I use both of them and click Next, you'll see that it's going to use the Vocal Assistant first, then use the Unmask feature second. So you just choose your vibe or intensity like we did before, and then you choose your unmask relay, and then we'll hit next, and then we'll play the music. Yeah, there you go. Now our vocals are mixed and they're right out front. So I'll accept these changes. So it looks like it's added some EQ, de a second EQ, compression, and reverb. And you can also enable or disable the unmasking processing by clicking here. So let me just AB that for you real quick. So it sounds like it's cut out a lot of the high end where the vocal and the guitars would have been clashing and the guitar tone is a little warmer now because it's cut out those frequencies. So keep in mind that the unmasking processing happens at the Relay plugin. It does not happen over in the Nectar plugin. So there's a few other things here too we can do to process the signal. In addition to having uh, an RMS and peak meter, there's also an output uh, volume or gain control. You can pan the whole track left or to the right. Um, you can also add stereo width, so I find this pretty cool, especially with rhythm guitars like this. Let me try adding some width to this. So with positive values, you get a more enhanced stereo image. With negative values, it narrows the stereo image. There's also some advanced controls down here. You can sum to mono.
That's important if you want to test the mono compatibility of a track or multiple tracks. This is particularly an issue for left and right panned rhythm guitars. You can flip the phase, you can swap the left and right channels, and you can also apply a time delay to the entire signal in stereo. That's if this uh, link button is on. But if you turn this off, you can independently control the time delay between the left and right channels and create sort of like a Haas effect stereo image effect. And then there's also a high pass filter that you can kick in here. There's three slopes, 12, 24, and 48 dB, and you can adjust the cutoff frequency right here. So that's how you can use the unmask feature along with the vocal assistant and the relay plugin with Nectar 3.